We're going to have a fine shave using the fine lathering bowl, and that's coming up next. Hi YouTubers and what's yours everywhere, it's MargaretGeorgeToon.com, I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me, I really do appreciate it. Great to see you again, love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new lathering bowl in the shave den, absolutely fantastic lathering bowl. Hey, before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome, make yourself at home, check out all the other videos, and also please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, Mr. Fine himself, Todd Cerami, and the very, very kind folks at Fine Accoutrements sent along this for review, the Fine Lathering Bowl, right here. We've talked about this on the Monday Morning Mailbag. They very, very kindly sent this one along for review. I'm very, very impressed by the overall look, shape, design of it. Absolutely spectacular and comes in at a really, really nice price point. So we're going to build a lather with this and we're going to have a shave. Uh, and we're going to try to do an all fine shave using ingredients from fine accoutrements themselves. But before we get to the actual shave, let's talk about the bowl itself and show you some of the really, really nice design elements. First of all, it has a lower profile and that serves so that you uh, won't be clanging your brush in there when you're making a lather. That's really kind of nice. I like that. There is some very, very nice ribbing in there, uh, some raised edges, so to speak, that will also help uh, develop a little bit of friction, aeration, so you will develop that lather all the more quickly. Really terrific, terrific, nice way that that's laid out there. Um, also, it's wall mountable, as you can see right there from the hole right there on the handle. And speaking of handle, that is a brush rest. Check that out, how that brush just rests right in place like that. Absolutely fantastic. So you have a place to put your brush uh, while you're doing a shave pass. And I have found that this brush rest, and let me get the, let me get a hold of it here so I don't drop it. That seems to be a really nice size and it's accommodating uh, all of the shave brushes that I've checked in my shave den so far, for instance, the Amber Aerolite works very, very well, as you just saw. Here is my Phantom Aerolite. This is a larger handle, but look, it fits so very nicely right there. How about that? All right, here is my Atomic Rocket from Phoenix Shaving. Look at that. That fits there very, very nicely as well. Okay, <laughs> I mean, that's a nice, generous handle there. Here's the Phoenix Shaving Green Ray, that, oh, that just sits there so very, so very well. I mean, <laughs> it's just a terrific, terrific feature. Here is my Vikings Blade Fire Mare brush. Look how that sits there. Just, it's perfect. It really is. I've been going through all my brushes and I'm finding that they all fit very, very well. Here's my Peregrino from Phoenix Shaving, just like that. How about that? That, that works. Here is my Simpson T3 with the ebony handle. Thanks again to Mark Bagwell. Watch this. Look how that. <laughs> That's terrific. Everything seems to work very, very well. Here's the Simpson M7 brush that I have. A great bowl lathering brush. Uh, this is uh, came courtesy of viewer Jimmy V. Check that out. Now, I have found that uh, some of the brushes that have this more, I guess you could say a traditional kind of shape to it, uh, I think Simpson originated the shape of this handle, I think, and some other manufacturers out there have cloned it. But this shape of this handle works very well uh, on that uh, brush rest there on the bowl. Uh, I have here a Yaki 26 millimeter brush that has a very similar shaped handle, a little larger too in diameter, and that fits on there very nicely. 
No problem at all. I could go on and on and on <laughs> and show you how these brushes fit very, very nicely there, but that's just a sample. I'm going to try some others uh, that I have. You know what? One other that I have here that I didn't think was going to work is the Star Wisp from Phoenix Shaving. But look, it works. It, it, it works, even though it kind of hangs off the end there. It still sits in there very, very well. So a lot of thought went into the design of this um, this uh, shape, this lathering bowl, and uh, it does have an embossed uh, bottom here with the fine brand logo and name right there. Another nice touch. Uh, you can just hook your thumb in there like that and just hold it like this very, very securely to build your lather. And that's what we're going to be doing on this particular video. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be able to hold it up to the camera and show you as it, uh, how it develops a lather. And, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So we're going to have a shave. We're going to build a lather with this, and we're going to have a shave. We're going to kick it off with a hot towel from the hot towel cabinet. Thanks again to Jamie Horn. We are going to be using Parasso Green uh, Pre-Shave. And then we're going to be using for our shave soap, uh, the 21st Century Shave Soap from Fine themselves. Yeah, this is the Bay Rum. This is an absolutely fantastic Bay Rum scent. And it, ha it creates a wonderful, wonderful lather. And we're going to be scraping it out there and just smashing it, smooshing it on the bottom of the lathering bowl and seeing how that, uh, how that works out. We're also going to be using the Marvel Razor from Fine Accoutrements. I don't think they make this anymore. I happen to get this one just as they announced they were going to phase them out. So I'm glad I got one. We're going to be using uh, a really, really nice razor. I believe this is a medium aggression uh, razor again, but I've got two days worth of beard growth. So this will really, really help in taking down that beard growth. And the other reason why I've got two days worth of beard growth is I want to make sure that uh, the lather that it generates gives me a nice good coating so that you know good coverage good coating that sort of thing uh let's see what are we going to use for my razor blade you know what let's go with the right here let's go with the uh, gillette platinum the swedes thanks again to beth jones yeah we're going to go with these these are terrific terrific blades and i think i'm going to need that little bit of a um smoother softer edge in the marble razor that's kind of my guess going to finish it off with an allen block from phoenix shaving also some witch hazel a few sprays of that and also from the folks at fine their bay rum aftershave how about that yeah now we're also going to use a little bit of the uh, bay rum balm from sterling uh, i don't have a balm from uh uh, fine accoutrements in the Bay Rum scent. So we're going to use the Sterling Bay Rum. I'm not going to use a lot because I am going to do a head shave later on. If for some reason we have some leftover lather here from what I've generated, I'm going to set that aside and see if I can bring that back. I'm sure I will be able to bring it back because this is a very good formula. Uh, bring it back for a head shave la later on uh, this evening or maybe even tomorrow. We'll see what happens. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to put some hot water in this bowl right here and let that hot water heat, heat the bowl up just a little bit. I want to just get some little hot water in there. We're going to do the uh, hot towel and... Uh, Get some shave soap and we're just going to get to the shave so let me just put a little bit of hot water in here so that it'll warm the bowl up just a little bit and then we'll also soak the brush there's the hot water right there in the bowl like that and we're going to just put some water in there we're going to use the amber arrow like whoa almost <laughs> almost dropped it i'm getting ahead of myself we're going to use the amber arrow light i'm just going to put that in some warm water there all right and uh, what we're going to do right now is we're going to get a, a nice hot towel here. I'm using the thicker towel right here. Oh, boy, that's nice. And Oh, look at the steam. Can you see the steam? I don't know if you can see the steam. Wow, that's fantastic. All right, we're, just, we're not going to rinse the face. We're just going to put this on, and we're going to get to the shape. I'll see you in a minute. That's terrific. That, that really is a great way to kick off a shave. Absolutely. All right, let me set this aside here. Let me get, uh, boy, I'm, got a, I'm kind of crowded here a little bit, so bear with me a little, a little bit. I'm going to take this hot water now that the bowl's warmed up a little bit, and I'm going to dump that 
into the sink there. We're going to get uh, my Bay Rum Shave Soap. I'm going to get a little, I've got a little tool here, and we're going to scrape out. Now, I can't remember how much to use. I'm going to use about that much right there, eh, that much right there. I think that will be more than enough to uh, give us a lather, and I'm going to just press that and smooth that on the bottom of this shave bowl. This is the first time I'm using this shave bowl, by the way. So I'm just going to press this in. Now, the discussion on how to make a lather, one step that the viewer Robert Ross uh, advised us on was to take a little bit of uh, a little bit, a few drops of water and kind of make a slurry with that in there. We're not going to do that this time around. We're just going to go ahead and go right to the brush and see how the lather bowl uh, creates the lather with the brush. Let me set this aside so it doesn't get wet. So let's get my brush right here. It's nice and damp. I'm going to add water as I go. I've got a nice grip here. So we're going to go ahead and start building that lather. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's already, it's already starting. Look at this. I mean, my gosh, look at that. That is really that is really, that's really something. And you can see that it's not clanging the brush at all. This is a 24 millimeter knot. It'll be interesting to see how a 26 millimeter knot or a 30 millimeter knot responds in this brush, in this bowl rather. And look, look, look at the, <laughs> look at that. My gosh, not only is the shave soap a great formula, but this lathering bowl is doing an instant lather. Look at that. Look at that. My gosh, look at, look at how, boy, this, this did an absolutely marvelous job. I've heard from some viewers the first time we showed this uh, via the video that uh, the folks at Fine sent along. They have a really nice 45 second or so video demonstration and explanation uh, by Mr. Fine himself of this lathering bowl. And uh, they were saying how much they enjoy using this lathering bowl. And look at, look at that. My God, I mean, my gosh. I mean, boom, lather already. My gosh, that's fantastic. We're all set here. Oh my gosh, we're all set. And it's a great, great bay rum scent. So we're going to go ahead and use that breast right there like that and set that down and kind of putting it back on there because I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to drop it. All right, let's wet the face. Let's get to the shave. All right, a couple of splashes and we're going to use a little bit of Parasso pre-shave. All right, kind of change things up from our usual routine. This has got menthol and eucalyptus in it, so we'll get a nice menthol kick. I probably, you know, now that I think about it, I probably could have done a wash with the cube and then applied the Parasso. Maybe next time around, I'll try that. That'll be a nice change in routine and see how the two of those products go together. But normally I'm using the cube, and I like the cube a lot, but I just thought for this shave, we'll go with Parasol Pre-Shave and see how that works out. Now I'm gonna use my hot towel here to wipe off my hands a little bit, and I wanna make sure that I'm not, hang on, I'm gonna put this down below so that it's out of the way, and uh, I wanna get rid of some other things here. Get some other things out of the way so we're not... All right, here we go. We're just going to go ahead and paint this on. I'm going to leave that on the counter now. And look at that. What a wonderful lather. My gosh. Their 21st century soap base is marvelous. It really is. Look at that. That really is. Really, very, very nice. And it did, the lathering bowl did a great job in whipping up a really, really nice lather. And again, 
If I have some left over, I'm going to leave it in there and we're going to use it for a head shave. And I'm sure, given the nice yogurty, uh, thick, creamy consistency that I've just gotten, a little bit of water will bring it right back. Oh my gosh. Look at it. Look at that. It's marvelous. Plenty on the brush here. Let me show you the lathering bowl. Plenty in the lathering bowl. Look at that, huh? Huh? Might as well get a still frame for the thumbnail, right? Okay. <laughs> Thanks for letting me do that. All right. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and load this blade here. Gillette Platinum right here. Okay, Gillette Platinum. Let's set that aside. And we're going to open this up just a little bit, okay? We're not going to pull it out of the wrapper just yet. I have to open up the uh, the razor. So we're just going to just going to get the wrapper unwrapped a little bit. There we go. I have a little bit of glue on there. Let me just set that down on my cabinet. Here is my razor. No O-ring here, so we're not going to worry about that. Okay, so there we go. This is a really nice razor. It has some nice heft. I like the handle design. I like the razor head design, as a matter of fact. Uh, it, it reminiscent of the kind of uh, uh, razor head that the Henson razor has in that the, the razor head helps you find the proper angle for your shave. It has that kind of a design to it. Okay, so there it is right there. Now the end tabs, you can feel the end tabs a little bit. They are not fully enclosed. You can feel them just a little bit, but that's definitely not a deal breaker because they're not going to get in the way. And we're going to snug that all the way up. And again, some really nice, neat knurling there. Some neat fluting and some other kinds of, uh, I don't know, striping or carving there. It really gives you a nice grip. Okay, and the... Blade balance and alignment spot on. And while we're talking here, the lather kind of moisturizing the beard a little bit more. And it's doing a great job and it feels great. Feels great on the face, both the Parasso and the uh, Bay Rum, the fine Bay Rum shave soap. And we'll see, we'll see how the lather responds from the lathering bowl when we go for our second lathering pass. Gonna heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. Two days worth of beard growth. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Did I say medium aggression? It's a little lower than medium aggression with this with this Gillette Platinum Swede razor blade. Very, very smooth, although I think the lather I just created in this fine lathering bowl, really, is doing a great job. A lot of nice protection. Really, I mean, that's fantastic. As you can see right there, the shape of the razor head, you can see that face right there. All you have to do is place that against your skin and you've got the proper angle. Wow, I really miss using this razor. This is a really delightful razor. That's a nice, mild, smooth shaving pass. Okay, so the razor head is a little taller. This is the way it's designed, so you're not going to get everything up underneath the uh, the nostril there. At least I didn't this time around, but we'll get it on the east to west pass. That won't be a problem. First pass done, let's rinse. Definitely going to need a second pass. I'm approaching socially acceptable shave territory. That's usually the, 
the way it is with a razor of this uh, aggression level uh, and two days worth of beard growth. Second pass may give me a complete shape. I don't know yet. We'll, we'll see. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get some more lather here. And it stayed nice and creamy in the lathering bowl. And you know, I have a little bit of water on my face. And, you know, I'm not going to have to add any... I'm not going to have to agitate this anymore because it stays very, very nice and creamy. It has stayed very, very nice and creamy. And... Oh, look at that. That's just... That's terrific. And of course, you know, I got a lot in the knot here I could just scrape off and show you and then just kind of pick it up here. How about that, huh? And I just love the way it fits in the hand. It really does fit well in the hand. You can get a nice grasp of it. I suppose perhaps because of the diameter of it, if your hands are a little smaller, okay, you may or may not get the same kind of grasp I'm getting, but my thinking is, is that you, you probably, if you hook your thumb through there, you'll probably be okay. Let me put it to you this way. I haven't seen any comments about anybody saying I can't get a good grasp of the, of the lathering bowl when I'm hooking my thumb through the handle. Okay, look at that. Huh? <laughs> and again, look how much I have in the lathering bowl. And recall how fast it developed. I mean, it, that was really something. And I could just scrape the brush off here. And you can see how much I have. Again, I think key is, key to this uh, the lather is this, definitely is this lathering bowl. But I think a good synthetic brush like the Amber Aerolake really, really aids in getting the most uh, performance out of this lathering bowl. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the handle like that. I think you can just, you heard that. Let me just see if I can show it to you here without dropping anything. Look at that. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Boy, that is really a smooth, smooth shave. This razor and blade combination are wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I forgot to mention, but you'll recall that the first lathering pass, uh, just as I was starting to shave, I got great coverage uh, of the entire whisker. I mean, and uh, absolutely fabulous. And the fine 21st century uh, lathering uh, shave soap, the lather didn't break down at all. It just actually, along with the parasol, actually helped to moisturize and soften that whisker. I guess I should say moisturize the skin and soften the whisker. Yeah, it's, it's snug. Uh, I can get some a little bit of buffing up there because this uh, shave soap offers some really nice slickness and some nice residual slickness. All right. Wow.
<laughs> That's terrific. All right, second pass done. Let's rinse. Let's see where we're at. I would say I'm done. I would say I'm done. But you know what? I'm going to do a little bit of a touch up here. Just a little touch up. And of course, you can see here, I probably don't have a lot in the brush because I scraped it back into the bowl. So I'm just going to get some right here. But it was enough to get things started, don't you think? Wow. And I'm just going to do just a little bit of touch up. I'm not going to do a full third pass. All you need is a little bit of touch up. Uh, on my neck, up to my up to my uh, jawline, right in that area there, and maybe a little bit uh, over here by my earlobes, that sort of thing. But uh, for the most part, I think it's just going to be neck. I kind of jumped the gun there. We're going to go with the touch-up pass. We're going to go south to north against the grain. Okay, very nice. I just want to get there and get a little bit here. I mean, that's terrific. I got my chin okay. That's great. That's all I need is a little bit of touch up. <clears throat> Touch up, <laughs> touch up, pass, done, let's rinse. Kind of washing my face with that too. That's nice, the shave is done. That's a really, really nice, nice shave. We're gonna do my two final rinses, one warm, one cold. All right, here's my warm water rinse. A lot of rinsing to get some get 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 that residual slickness off the skin. That's terrific. That really is. Really, really nice shave. I can feel I can still feel the menthol from the Paraso, which is wonderful. Which is another reason why I'm liking bowl lathering because those layers stay separate, one on top of another, and they kind of work with one another instead of getting it all mixed together with the uh, face lathering. Love face lathering, but bowl lathering. I'm having a great time with it. Especially when you get a nice bowl uh, for lathering, like the fine lathering bowl. It's nice and cold. Here's my cold water rinse. It's going to get a menthol kick for sure. Oh yeah, that is fantastic. A nice, nice menthol kick there. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. It's a thinner towel, but this does a nice job of uh, cleaning up the face here. Nice and absorbent. And as one viewer mentioned, since I've gone to bowl lathering, I'm not, <laughs> not painting it all over my face and all over my ears like I used to. So, it is a little more controlled. A little more controlled, and I guess you could say a little more uh, targeted, specific when I'm painting on the ladder. Boy, that's a terrific, terrific shave. My gosh, that feels wonderful. Really terrific razor. I hope they bring the razor back. Mr. Fine, I like this, uh, <laughs> I like this Marvel razor a lot. Uh, you bring it back, I'll buy another one. Absolutely. It's really, really a terrific, terrific razor. All right, let's go ahead and get my Allen block here from Phoenix Shaving with the no-slip grip and the dry dock system. We're going to put this under some cold water and see what kind of feedback we get. See if there's any zinging, any stinging, anything like that. 
boy, that is smooth as ice. That's terrific. And I definitely, definitely need a head shave. Definitely need a head shave. I've let it go one too many days. Boy, no zinging, no stinging. Some nice bracing from the Allen block. Let me get my, whoops, there goes my, one of my brushes off of my other stand here. Put it back there. Um, here's the dry dock. There's the Allen block. And then we'll let the air in the room do the rest of the job, the rest of the work in drying it out. Um, here is my Phoenix Shaving Witch Hazel. We're going to use a little bit of this. Hang on one minute. Let's, let's just, okay, that's good enough. That's, that's, <laughs> that's long enough. I probably would wait a little bit longer if I were, were not filming this, but I want to move the video along. So here's a little Witch, witch Hazel. We're going to spray a little bit on here. Okay, good. That's terrific. I'm doing this more and more post-shave right now. All right, now, while we're waiting for that, let me show you how much lather I still have in the bowl here. And you know what? My power just went out. Okay. <laughs> we're back. We're back. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to finish up the shave. I know because we got some high winds going on. Yeah, we got some high winds going on. So I'm probably on minimum power right now, but this camera's on battery. Okay, there it is right there. <laughs> Did you ever think that was going to happen? There it is right there. Uh, and I'm going to try to finish the... Oh, power's back on. Okay, great. <laughs> well, let's let's do this Let's do this aftershave right now. Wow. Got some big thunderstorms and everything going on. Let's do the aftershave and let's batten down the hatches. And let's get, let's wrap it up. Can you hear that? And the lights are going? Yeah, got some big storms coming in. All right. It's an excellent lathering bowl. Check it out. I'll have links below. We're going to call this shave done. The fine lathering bowl. I hope the weather is more cooperative where you are. We'll talk to you again real soon. Okay, I'm back. Bad. That was a really fierce hailstorm that went through. Some high winds and hail everywhere. Power was flickering. <laughs> I'm very sorry for that. Wrapping up real quick, and I thought, well, wait a minute, you know, rather than do that, I can always wait for the storm to blow through and then come back and wrap up, which is what I'm doing right now. So that was probably maybe five, ten minutes ago that it blew through and we're back on camera here and it looks like power's okay. So we're going to use a little bit. Well, actually, that's probably a little too much of the Sterling Bay Rum Aftershave Balm, but the aftershave from Fine is really, really very, very good. I love the scent of that. And the Bay Rum scent is very, very good. So we're rubbing this into the hands here. And again, I'm probably going to be doing a head shave and I'm going to use the leftover lather from the fine lathering bowl. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, now we can do it. Great, great shave and a really, really wonderful, wonderful lathering bowl. Terrific lathering bowl. It really did a great job. And, uh, that's how much I have left and on the brush. And I'm going to just set that aside like that. And uh, we're going to come back to it either later on this evening or maybe tomorrow and do a head shave because I do need a head shave. But I'm sure it'll come right back and the lathering bowl will do a great job in regenerating that leftover lather. So check it out. The Fine Lathering Bowl from Fine Accoutrements. Nice price point. Really well thought out design. Fits wonderfully in the hand. Nice and secure. Does a great job in generating a lather very, very quickly. Uh, and I guess, you know, it touches all the bases. It's a winner. Check it out. We'll have a link below. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share. Please subscribe. Please like. Hit that bell so it'll give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash marksarady where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel 
organize and categorize so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.